Alright guys, another day eating breakfast here at the Ritz Carlton. Can't tell you guys, this is kind of like a highlight. I love waking up and realizing I'm gonna go to the sauna and then I'm going to have breakfast at this amazing place, so. Here is my eggs Benedict. It looks super good. Oh, you're cooked. You're gonna go to the... Huh? Ice cream tea. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're making... Oh, you're making it, okay. Could you wait a moment? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Oof. Ooh, baby. Show you guys this really cool plant. Look at that. Look at that plant. It's amazing. And the smell in here. Show you guys the fountain. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, this is probably going to be the best ice cream tea I've ever had. Thank you. In the whole <laughs> world. Japanese. Yes, Japanese culture. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright guys, hey, what is happening? We are at the Ritz Carlton here in Tokyo. And we are just about to take one of these taxis right here. Alright guys, we are in the area in Tokyo where they have the crossing where a bunch of people actually cross the roads and it's, everything in Japan is like very cartoony. I totally love it. There's like, there's like so much going on that it's very easy to get distracted wherever you go. It's like you're tempted to have FOMO everywhere, like fear of missing out. You're like, oh my gosh, that light, that advertising, that story. But if you've already dealt with FOMO and it doesn't affect you, then congrats. No more FOMO, no more FOBO. I think we're getting closer. This looks like a very crazy, busy area. They have the same song looping over and over again. I feel like I'm in California Adventure in Disneyland. Lots of good restaurants, guys. Like I said, I'm running out of memory and I think we're getting really close to the crossing area. I just want to show All right, yeah, it's right over there. Welcome to the crossing area. Oh, that's creepy. Hey, konnichiwa. Oh, you like Trump. Why do you support Trump? Whew. Crazy, right guys? Let's show you guys the whole area. That's from my first time going out at night here in Tokyo. We're going to a nightclub. It was my birthday two days ago. Technically I had two birthdays, one in California, one in Japan due to the time difference. I'm still struggling with jet lag. Uh, I had a nice surprise. I was sleeping at my hotel and uh, Maria that works at the Ritz Carlton came with champagne, some chocolates, it was the nicest gesture. And now we're in the station here in Tokyo. Once we go into Shinjuku Station. Can you guys see Shinjuku Station? I can't. Which is very odd. All right, I found it. Shinjuku. I was on the other. I was on the wrong side of the track. All right. All right, guys. Got to Shinjuki. Been climbing up these stairs. We finally got some noise in the streets of Japan, guys. 
Man, I thought there was no street for performers, but now there are. Crazy. I guess we're in a part of the district where it's allowed, because technically it's against the law to have like any loud noise. I'm very surprised that I'm seeing skateboarders, musicians, noise in basically like all corners. Wow, this is. I gotta ask somebody, like, what Shinjuki district is all about. Like, look at this, guys. Street performers in Japan? I'm not gonna lie, I'm super tired. Because I didn't do anything on my birthday, I kind of want to at least go out on a Saturday night. I may head back early, because I'm tired. Let's do it. We're trying to figure out a storyline for this tower. This gentleman, what's your name? Yo Hei. Yo Hei. This gentleman was kind enough to be in the video. So like, I'm thinking we can start off with your bike somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can park your yeah, bike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That'll yeah. be a part of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you'll walk and we'll get a shot of you walking towards the tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll get a shot of you going inside, uh -huh. like clocking in or something. Oh, yeah, or yeah. like you saying something in a pretend microphone. <laughs> like, da -da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we'll add something in the edit. Oh, yeah, what do yeah. you think? Ah, yeah, it's very good. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. All right. Perfect. A little behind the scenes production over here. So I'm at the Tokyo Tower and trying to figure out a nice little storyline. I'm trying to take my videos to the next level. So this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna start over there with the camera. As soon as I get to here, you're going to start parking your bike. Yeah, yeah. But first, you're gonna look up mm -hmm. and give that reaction. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, right. maybe. This guy is a champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How what? How is it being uh, Jackie Chan in yeah, Tokyo now? It's very right, good. I'm Jackie Chan in Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> pocket talkie and translated and apparently it's like the freedom of the Russian Federation or something like that where I don't know they're like protesting or something like that right but it was cool to catch it on camera that was pretty cool quick bites We are having a night out here in Tokyo for the second time. The last time I went to a district with, I forget the name of the neighborhood, Shinjuku or something like that. And now I'm gonna stay in my neighborhood. This is my last night here at the Ritz Carlton. It's been six full heavenly days. I can't begin to tell you how heavenly this place has been. All right, I'm with these really awesome guys. What's your name? Hi, uh, I'm Naoki. Naoki. I'm Kaiki. Kai, Kaiki. I'm huge. Wow, you guys are like the uh, Street Fighter team. <laughs> Kaiki, Yuji, and <laughs> Naoki. <laughs> do your do your Street Fighter pose. Street Fighter pose. Who? <laughs> street Fighter pose. <laughs> A street Fighter pose. Yeah, pose like whatever pose. Yeah, uh, ready? Yes, okay. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter pose. Yeah. Hey guys, this morning is my last day here at the Ritz Carlton and I'm about to go grab the last breakfast. 
All right, guys, I'm really, really happy with the footage that we've been capturing. Honestly, like this is probably some of the best content and practicing that I've been doing during the filmmaking uh, part of my career. Before this trip, I really set a goal to be able to say, you know what, Robbie, you've been shooting video production for five years. You've been doing some little client videos and, you know, you, you've been using your drone and GoPro. And the last time I used my Sony was in Greece, right? So I figured, you know what, it's time to really use the Sony camera as my main camera and really start to be creative as a filmmaker, right? Because in the past I had uh, imposter syndrome and I always ask myself, and I'm looking at all these guys on YouTube, I'm looking at... You know, so many people that are creating content and here I am, I'm not really creating enough content. So my goal for this tip, trip is to really balance the fun and then also work and, and be able to create as much content as possible. So, so far I'm pretty happy with, I think, uh, the way this Tokyo video is going to turn out. It's going to be really awesome. Look at all of the deliciousness, guys. Hey guys, I'm super excited. I am meeting a friend that I met in Bogota, Colombia. It was about, I think, seven months ago. Um, this guy was staying at the hostel and then we ended up connecting and then we kind of like traveled together in Bogota. And usually normally what I do is I always add the contact's name in my phone and under the notes or the, um, the company name, I put the country I met them in plus their country and their city. Two minutes. All right, so what that does is basically when I go to another country, I end up searching, like for example, I got to jo Japan and I was seeing if I had met anybody in the past from Japan. So I searched Japan and so I sent him a message and I was like, hey, where are you at? I'm in Japan, I'm in Tokyo. And so that's who I'm meeting with right now. Super excited to see him, super cool guy. We're gonna go have some lunch. And he agreed to be one of my actors in one of the scenes today over at the temple. Um, and then we're gonna do a little filming at the restaurant. And whoever is, whoever of you guys that are watching right now, uh, I don't know if you're inspired to do filmmaking, there was a, a part of my life that I felt kind of like this uh, imposter syndrome type of feeling. Like I'm watching all the other guys do these filmmaking and cinematic films and I, you know, I had this feeling that oh, I don't have that in me to be able to do that. Look at the shots they use and all that stuff. Something that's cool is I've been able to prove myself wrong. One of my goals on this trip was to be able to apply myself into the areas that I thought I had doubt or insecure in the whole filmmaking process. So. I've been able to capture a lot of cool content on this trip, so I'm super excited to show you guys the different types of footage that I uh, want to display in this next edit for the Japan edits. And um, so today, yeah, we're gonna be using Kohei in the, uh, in the film, and he's gonna be doing a couple model shots over at the temple. Japan's a cool place. If you really come here and like you have a goal in mind, to be able to like create content or travel. Not so much of like a social place with the locals. Kohei! What's up, man? So I met this guy in Bogota, Colombia. We were traveling in Bogota for a couple of days, being dangerous. He wouldn't even leave the hostel like past 10 o'clock. And now I'm in Tokyo with this guy. Super cool. We're on our way to a temple. What is the name of the temple? Sen Soji Temple. Sen Soji Temple. It's the first temple I'm visiting in Japan. Last time I was in Osaka, I don't think they have, they probably have temples over there. I just didn't go. These guys did a great job. They're from South Korea. You guys are so very nice people. Everybody in South Korea, nice people? Yes. Nice. Yeah? Very, yeah. very nice oh, people. Oh, okay. bye-bye. Take bye -bye. care. See you. Bye-bye. This beautiful temple. This is, this is the stuff that makes me actually really feel like I'm in Japan. Like, whenever I was a kid, I'd always imagine this stuff. 
to be Japan. A lot of nice people were willing to be in the video. And right now I'm waiting on Kohei. I don't know where he's at. I feel kind of bad because he's been waiting around and I think a lot of people don't understand the, like the process of filmmaking. You got to get multiple shots and make it look like a story. And sometimes that takes a lot of time. So I feel bad when people are with me. Uh, most of the time when I'm filming, I love being alone because I don't feel like pressured or feel like uh, anybody's waiting on me. So, but in this case, I wanted to hang out with Kohei and I really don't want to come like, I'd love to come back here, but there's other places I gotta be, and we have very little short time. Mostly I train my body. Okay, you go to the gym? Yeah. So that's why you can fight the zombies. <laughs> Today has been an amazing time with my friend from Bogota and I'm here in Tokyo with him. It's been great, great time. What do you think? Yep, we have great time with Robbie. We had a lunch for Cartwright. How was it? Y bueno, ciao. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where I travel around the world and I share my experience, my strength, and my hope with the people I encounter every single day. Travel and journey with me around the world as I see the most beautiful parts of this mundo. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and remember that you are loved.